Did I, did I fire too early? <laughs> too early. I have that problem. <laughs> it's the intro. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Dave. And this is Brad. And this is the Traveling Brothers Cigar Review. And today... Hold on, I got this one. You, you ready? got this one? I got this one. What do you got? I have an incredible cigar from a new line that we have not reviewed yet. And and guess what? The cigar reminds me of you. <laughs> the Cause Neanderthal. Because you're, you're a large, Neanderthal. You're large. Because I'm a Neanderthal. Harry. Neanderthal and semi. <laughs> Neanderthal. Uh, well, tell us. So, Neanderthal's Roma Craft, right? This is made by Roma Craft Tobacco out of Austin, Texas. Is that where they're from? They are from Austin. Oh, oh, you can say it with me. Austin. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. You should wear your cowboy hat. I should have worn my cowboy hat. Have we got a cowboy hat here? No, I don't have one handy. I've only wear got... your sailor hat. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Why not? No. You won't wear the cover. So is this the guy we met down at the lounge that night? That... This is definitely the guy mm. we met down at the lounge. I think... Uh... What's his name again? Michael... Rosales. Rosales. Is that who we met? We met him down at the lounge. He's a really nice guy. He was an incredible, really nice incredible guy. guy. Sat down, had a cigar with us, uh, told us the stories of how they got started. And I think they got started, really, they were bringing tobacco into the country and having it rolled in local lounges, right, as a bit of a, like a party favor type thing. That's how they really got started, isn't it? And their shop actually got leveled by... Um, a hurricane. Oh, I don't remember that bit of the story. Yeah, no, the shop got loved by a hurricane, and they decided that they were just going to blend and sell the cigars, and very thankful they did. Mm. And this is one of those boutique brands that, again, go into your local lounge, <clears throat> talking to the proprietors of those lounge. Nate turned me on the, to this the, brand. The proprietors? What? Not Popeye. P proprietor. Proprietor? We haven't had... Any bourbon yet? You haven't had any bourbon. <laughs> and tonight, what are we drinking, Brad? Oh. We were smoking bullet. We're smoking Neanderthal, but we're drinking <clears throat> bullet. A fairly common bourbon over here. I'm sure you can get your hands on it nice and easy. But it is a good bourbon, and it goes particularly well with a cigar like a Neanderthal. Now, you, you, notice, know where, you, know where you bullets... might not notice, but I've got ice in mine. I like my bullet with a little bit of ice. Mm -hmm. You're a bit of a... I like it a little chilled and opened up by the you like water. It watered, you like it watered I, down. I like it... Well, no, it doesn't water it down. It opens up the flavours a that's bit like, more. That's like taking away from the bourbon. No, it's not. The folks in Kentucky would be quite angry mm. with you. No, I think we need some whiskey aficionados to explain to you what adding a little bit of ice or water to your bourbon actually does. We should meet up with some one day and learn that down a distillery. Do we have a distillery nearby? We totally do. We totally do. We should go do a review at a distillery. And we can review their... We, I mean, we had them on there at one point. Mm -hmm. We should do that. Wow. Right away, this <clears throat> hits you in the nasal, nasal cavity, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's spice. It's a spice. Spicy yeah. little spicy little meatball it's a here. Bomb. Yes. Um Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Um USA Broadleaf, Connecticut. Um binder. It's and got Dominican in it too, right? Yeah, it's got some Dominican in it. And some Nicaraguan. And some Pennsylvania. Tobacco. So I think it's a is it a Mexico uh, San Andreas wrapper? Yeah, yeah. And then the binder is the Connecticut, Connecticut broad. Broadleaf. Yep. And then the filler is the Dominican. Nicaraguan and Dominican. 
and Pennsylvania, USA, USA. So it's from all over the shop, and I tell you, it's a nice cigar. You just reference the countries of the world as shops. Mm. Mm. What does that mean? It's Australian. All over the shop means from everywhere. Mm. Do I need to start subtitling again? Yeah, you do. Like, why not just say it from everywhere? Because it's from all over the shop. Just, it's from everywhere. That's what it means. I know, but why not just say it's from everywhere? Because I said that's from all over the shop. I know, but from all over, period. The shop. The, but the why the shop, Think though. of the world as the shop. It just, it's like a curveball. Well, it's like you understands. went shopping today with your wife, right? Yeah. But Did you was, go all over the shop? I, I went all over <laughs> something. I don't know what I was doing or thinking. <laughs> At doing this. So it's like when you go shopping and you buy stuff from over there and stuff from over there. We didn't buy anything. There, so you get it from all over the shop. So the tobacco that they've purchased was from all over the shop. All over the world. If that's what you want to say. Yeah, but how do you get all of So if I said, you're like, hey, where'd, where'd, where'd you get the bourbon? I was like, oh, I don't know. I just went all over the... No, that's a bad example. It's not going to be a good yeah, example, no. No, but... It's a saying, Brad. An Australian saying. We could do some more Australian sayings. We can do a whole video on Australian sayings. Like, you know, when I ask you to get something out of the boot. You're not wearing any shoes. Exactly right. So you're, to you're, us, the boot you're, you're is, the trun is the trunk of a car. So you'd say get something, get like if you said, if I said, where's the baseball gloves for our baseball game this week? Well, not this week, but I'm... Um, Hypothesizing. So I so said, where, where's, where's the baseball gloves? I'd say, they're in the boot. And you'd say, they're in the trunk of the car. See? My brain just had a misfire. Mm. Happens often. Oh, let me let me clear this the chamber. This is smoky too, isn't it? Mm. This is a good smoke production. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a short package. Full bodied though. Oh, yeah. And this one, now, I remember hearing horror stories about this cigar before I smoked it. Mm. Like, oh, that cigar will put you on your butt. Yeah, they said it would put you on your ass. Yeah, butt. Butt. Ass. Is there an Australian term for ass? Ass. Mm. And butt. But I, I don't think it's, it's that strong. Is there, right, is but there, ass is and there butt a... are the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So, well, yeah, we'll get into a whole language thing there if we go into that that go down that rabbit hole but uh is there a stronger one in this line mm -hmm. what's the stronger one called isn't it the aquitaine ah the aquitaine that's the one yeah so the aquitaine when you have that you really want to have something to eat yeah you definitely that do. one's going to be like we talked in the video with siobhan the the new q a video where mm -hmm. we did uh you, the, the django little... we talked about nicotine buzz right Mm -hmm. The Aquitaine's going to give you some of that. Oh yeah, no, that'll that'll put you down. Yeah, but not this one. No, this is a this is medium to full bodied. Right. So yeah. I mean, it starts off with like a punch. Like I'm getting a lot of spice, like a dryness, right? Like a like that champagne type dryness right at the front end, and it's the retro how it really stays uh, there, bro. I'm not I'm not there. The, <laughs> No, the the retro hell really stays there. It's like, just gives you this overwhelming sensation. Can you retro hair me some more bourbon? I can. I can. Why don't you keep the audience uh, uh, entertained while we do? Well, I do remember meeting Mike. He came down to the lounge and he was doing an event at our local lounge. And again, if you frequent and support your local lounges, which we're all about, right? We're all about you guys going down. And getting that relationship going because you get to meet the folks that make these cigars and it was such a great experience with him just lighting up he gave some cigars from his own private collection I know you got some of those mm -hmm. he gave them to the store mm-hmm mm -hmm. you still got some the store gave them to me I was the store yeah yeah <laughs> and <laughs> You, you get you, you just get the you get the passion end of this right. So anybody who does anything well is going to be passionate about it, and they live by it. And he rolled in with his tactical backpack and all of his gusto, and he just enjoyed hanging out. And he had a really good night that night, I think. I yeah, think. it did. And I think was that it, the night we had the whiskey guys there as well? 
Yeah, it was the night we had the whiskey. We had uh, whiskey tasting guys there, and they were doing little tiny thimblefuls of whiskey. But we bought a lot of that whiskey too. That was the local distillery you're talking about. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, <clears throat> that were really that was really nice. Whiskey. Yeah, we actually had a master distiller down there, and he was pairing um, these um, these cigars with their whiskey. Yeah, it was great. Mm. They did such a great job, McClintock. Mm. McClintock. Yeah, in McClintock. Frederick, yeah, in Frederick. So we should go and get some McClintock this weekend. We could do that. I, I guarantee you if we talk to them, he'd come. The master still loves. Yeah. Maybe we could craft. do a review down at McClintock with them. They could show us some of their distilling maybe, process. Maybe. We can totally do it. Yeah. Why don't, why don't, Would you why don't. like to see that? Thumbs up. Subscribe. Make a comment. Tell us if you'd like to see that. I mean, it sucks for you guys who are not local, though. Yeah, but they can buy it. We can put up links and they can buy the stuff direct. Oh, I know. So... You know. How many thimbles did you have that night? A few. Well, I also bought some bottles, so I don't think I left with all the bottles I bought. I, I was just blown away by their bourbon. Like, it was just really good. It was like a sour mash bourbon, too. Was it Matchbox? Was that what it was called? Something like that? I, I can't remember, but it, yeah. was, it was incredible. Very good. Uh, and it all small batch. And it, again, you find great things locally. Like, it, it, it is... I mean, we're drinking bullet tonight and it it's you know you find those overly commercialized bourbons are great they do they do the job right but it just there's something special about getting out there and shopping local and supporting local even in the times we're in right now with everything that's going on in in the economy and the you know the political verse that we don't talk about right mm. but it's so important for you to go to your guys towns and cities and find out how you can get out there and just support local business shop local you have to. Yeah. Like, you, you got... I mean, you're a small business owner. Yeah. 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 You are. We're, we're a small business I'm owner. I'm a small yeah. business owner. You're a small business owner, yeah. You know, and... Yeah. Yeah, we I, also have uh, in Just Over Brokes. That's a job. Just Over Broke. Uh, yes. We're employed by others, but we also yes. have our own businesses on the side. Yeah, and, and <laughs> I just think it's so important to go out there and support your local community. I, I will... Um, spend my last dollar supporting a, a local business. Yeah, and I think especially during the closures that we've had this year, I mean, local businesses, you'll know when they're not there anymore and you'll miss them. We're seeing it in our own town. Yeah, the bakeries just closed down, yeah. groomer just closed down, yep. there's restaurants gone. Yeah, the, the dog groomer that used to cut your hair closed down. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll just leave it at that. This is how you look so rough. <laughs> rough. I get, I get it rough, rough, rough. That's a dog joke. <laughs> oh, I think he's barking mad. Yep. Oh, that was a good one. That's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. give you that one. Yeah. You don't have very many good That's because you're a little bit of a mongrel. That's a tree in the swamp. Mongrel? Mangrove. No, not a mangrove, a mongrel. The mangrove is a, it's a, not a, it's mangrove. a plant that sucks the swamp. It kills the swamp. <laughs> it's not a mangrove. Um, we, it was a major problem in Florida. I'll put it down below. Mongrel it means mixed breed dog. Is that an Australian thing too? I'm a purebred. Oh my God, that's Australian too. Oh, he's a bit of a bitch. No, I'm a purebred. <laughs> You're a purebred? Yeah, I'm 98.9% Jewish. <laughs> that's, that's not even a joke. I did the 23 and me. And I took the test, like I did the whole thing, and you know, okay, a funny story, right? Like we're gonna go on a little tangent here, but my we so, never do that, yeah. Pfft, speak for yourself. So my wife was so persistent of taking the twenty three and Me DNA test, you know, like you know, you go in there and up your mouth, and seems a bit familiar. Anyways, so <laughs> you, you do the swap thing, you put it in a little. You thing. mean they like put it right up there and switch it around? And yeah, they pull, pull it out, and, yeah, and, and they, they put it in a little jar. Seems very familiar. Anyway, so they did the whole like <laughs> DNA thing and my wife was so persistent about it. And, you know, she's, you know, Western European and stuff like that. So, you know, guild the, the Irish, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I told her, I was like, I don't, you can take it, but it's not really that important for me to. I know where I come from, right? Like that's one of those things. And she's like, no, it'll be so much fun. You should take it. You'll enjoy yourself. It'll be cool. You'll never know what you find. I'm like, I'm pretty confident what I'm going to find, you know. Um, Can we do a side profile on that? <laughs> so I told her what I would find. I'm, you know, I'm Jewish, 
heritage. Like we all come from like one or two places, right? Like totally understand that. And she again was very persistent. And I, I swear to you, I took the DNA test and you got to send it out. Like the only part of it is the swab. You send it out and then you got to pay more for them to analyze it mm -hmm. and paid the more. Right. And came back in three days. My wife's took three weeks. Mine, three days. 98.9% .9 Ashkenazi Jew. Really? Real three days. What's Ashkenazi? You know, it's it's a you know tribe. Is it? In the Jewish religion. Yeah, it's it's you know, think of like Ukraine area, Poland, right there. Like we we that's where we, we rolled out. Ah. And then some some individual moved over here. No, 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 they you know, some individual that tried to kill us all off. You know, oh, that one. Yeah, that guy. Mm. Anyway, so, but that's where that's where my ancestors are from. I know, you know what I mean. And clearly, ninety eight point nine percent. Like I told my I told my mother, I told her, I said, I took a twenty three and me. She's like, Why did you do that? You know where you come from. Did I not tell you you're from this area? You do this. She was so pissed that I took this, wasted the money on She's going to be even more pissed when she watches this video and he's taken the piss out of her. <laughs> <laughs> she was not happy the first time I did that. Either. Remember the whole Walmart? Actually, she was, that was when I did it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and you yeah, said, yeah, what do you yeah, sound yeah. like going on a Walmart yeah. thing? But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, uh, and then your dad said what? Your dad said something to you. What did he say? Uh, he said it was the funniest thing in the world. But mm. <laughs> He goes, your mother didn't appreciate you making fun of her. <laughs> but in reality that's that's what it is like that's where i'm from that's yeah. it yeah well now we know a little bit more about brad i think everybody knew that you, you think they knew they knew how would you know lots of people have big noses i mean i got ten, and I, you don't even have a very big nose it's look at mine it's like you, mine's you like you do have mine's like you want it smushed you want to know why Jews have big noses. <laughs> I'm not sure I do. Because <laughs> the air is free. Because the air is free. <laughs> I didn't say. It. <laughs> it's free. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's, funny. that's funny. That's there funny. How are you going with this cigar up the back of your nose? You've tapped already. You've already tapped. This is a Thursday we're doing this review on. It's a no tap Thursday. And you didn't know that. Why would you do a no tap Tuesday? Well, it's no tap Tuesday, but I made it Thursday because it still starts with a T. Good point. This cigar is starting to mellow out a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm getting more of a wet, earthy taste to it. I'm picking up some woods, some some of the the great outdoors in this. I'm gonna go oak. Mm. Nice woodsiness. Yep, oak, not cedar. Very oaky. Not cedar, oak. And it's pairing really good with this, by the way. Yeah, and like I said, you know, I, I like a little bit of water or ice in my bullet. It just takes the edge off it and opens it up a little if bit more. If you put water with a bullet, what happens? Nothing. Bullets still work in water. Do they? Mm -hmm. mm. Now you know. So we're going we're gonna to give this a couple more minutes. And we'll come back to you real soon. Okay, we're back. And uh, I just want to show you the burn on this. It's uh, it's burning a little unevenly, not much. It'll probably clean itself up. I'm not going to touch it up. I'm just going to see how it burns. But you can see the ash construction is is really quite good. I'm really hoping that's in focus there for you. But uh, you know what I really like about this cigar is the draw on it. The drawer is just smooth, yep. easy, not too light. Incredible smoke production. But huge smoke production and just easy. Like It just fills your palate. Like yeah. It is just pumping smoke Too out. Too retro hail, man, I'm telling you. All right, hold on. Let me... Oh. All right, here we go. Too early. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. This is too strong of a cigar to do that. <clears throat> I did a retro hat while oh, you're still doing your. I got a flat oh, tire. I got a flat tire. <laughs> oh no! I thought I was doing better. Oh, you know, that's that's right. This might be really strange, but I think on the retro hail, I get that oak, but I also get some floral notes. 
I know for a for a medium full cigar like this, I, I, I don't know what the I've not I've not done any research on this cigar at all. Brad found out where it was from, but tasting notes wise, haven't done any research on it. Have we? This I really, is like a blind tasting almost. It is, and I, I I did that on purpose. I want us to really get a like a fresh sense of this one. I mean, you you start reading tasting notes and then you start to imagine what they are but this one this cigar is so complex i didn't want to mess with that no i i definitely get on the retro hal especially i get this these floral notes a little bit more <laughs> but it hangs around there for a long time it does doesn't it it hangs around there for a long time. Um, so you went shopping today. Yeah, you brought that up. With your lovely wife. For some special time together. How did that go for you? Why, you know, in your great age and wisdom, your amount of time on this earth has been <laughs> thousands of years based on the color of your beard. Uh-huh. Why do women insatiably want men to go shopping with them? For connection time to share their, their. I was hanging out with my son, little Alex. We'll, we'll throw a picture up of Alex in there, right? Okay, all right. And him and I were hanging out outside in the cold because we did not want to be inside with the ladies shopping. Because it wasn't just me and my wife, it was my wife and her two friends. Oh, it was two friends. Yeah, it was two friends as well. And why I was there. For the life of me, I do not know. We were going to an outlet mall. Did I need anything from the outlet mall, Dave? Answer that. No, I did no. not need anything from the outlet mall. Did she need anything from the outlet mall? But listen, when we go to Harley Davidson, do we need to buy a Harley Davidson? No, but I can get lost in there for hours. Yeah, exactly. See, you, you see, that's the that's guys still like shopping. It's just what they shop for and where they hang out is different. What like, do women need from Bath and Body Works? I shit you not, I walked into that store. Bath bombs? Bruh. Candles? I, listen to me. I walked into that store. And at the top shampoos, of my lungs, after 30 bath minutes. soaps? 30 minutes of losing my wife in that store. I Smelly shouted things? From the front of that store. How long do you need to smell candles for? Really? Everything in there smells the exact same. Tell me, how'd that work for you? It didn't work out very well. <laughs> Felt like there was a mob that formed within a minute. The burn on this cigar is really good. <laughs> and the burn on me after I said that in that store was really good. I was trying to change the subject for you because you know your lovely wife's going to watch this. <laughs> She's going to throat punch me, but that's not the point. <laughs> Why? What is, what is it about that that just entertain? I don't understand it. Do you not understand it? I go shopping, I got a purpose. I have a mission. I'm on a mission. But not always. Bro, we went to Home Depot. We had a mission. We did. We went, we attacked. Yes, we did. We became we... animalistic. <laughs> like it could have been an Animal Planet special. Brad and I have been building some uh, dining room tables for us and some friends. We're done built. Well, we, yes, we built them. But we came in, we shopped, we conquered, we left. It was animalistic. It was, it was Neanderthal like. <laughs> yes. Tool Man Taylor style. <laughs> oh, and we bought power tools. Yes, you we did buy power, power tool. <laughs> it, I'm very glad you did. That that power tool made it very easy. It made a big difference. It did. I, you didn't let me. He didn't let me buy another sander. He's gone. We've got one. I've gone. Yeah, but I don't. We've we got have one. three. We've got we another three. one. It's we like, have three sanders. You didn't let me buy a Santa. No, but you you have three in there right now in mm. your in the den, the devil's den. I'm worried this is going to drop on me. Mm. It's burning well. I'm just going to let it drop when it goes. Yep, just let it rip. This is great. I I got to tell you, Romacraft is you got to check out Romacraft. Seriously, this is the Neanderthal. Um, now, uh, and I, I, I've, I've forgotten already. What's the other ones in the brand, in the, in the line? You got Cro-Magnum, Cro Aquitaine, Whiskey Rebellion. Whiskey, really manly names. Yeah, they? listen, Whiskey Rebellion is really cool. They got cigars <laughs> named after Thomas Jefferson, Intemperance. Oh, Intemperance is a good cigar. Yeah, no, they, 
I, you're going to have some trouble finding them at your local lounge, right? There's only about 300 lounges, cigar shops across the country that have them. They're quite boutique. But we can get them for you. Follow the link in the description. We'll put a link up. I'm sure we'll be able to get a link to some of these for you. But uh, the, I, I'm, the only one that I've had that's sort of not for the faint-hearted is the Aquitaine. Yeah, the, that. the others are all very easy to smoke, nice, still very full bodied. I'd say that goes throughout their line, is they're quite full bodied. They are. But they're a bit rebellious. They're like black rifle coffee of the cigar brand. Yeah. And they're really yeah. I just I you can't get enough of them. Yeah, they're 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 really special. So go back to shopping. What do you like to shop for? Technology. Technology, yeah. Same. I can get lost in Best Buy for hours. Just looking at toys. Just See, that's playing. it. Boys shop for toys. Mm, they like to play with things. They do. Well, what's the difference? Is what do they say? The difference between boys and men is their toys get more expensive and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Although, what your little one-year-old just got a motorcycle. He did. <laughs> Grandpa Zaretsky, if you're out there, thank you. He oh, is that where it came from? Yeah, my parents actually, after all the shit. <laughs> I got for the motorcycle. Right on, Dad. He bought him a bike. <laughs> and he told me, he told me uh this morning, he's like, This one he can get on. He was okay with that one. How'd he say that? He's like he's like, Bradley, this one he can ride, not the other one. The other one's dangerous. <laughs> but well, right on Grandpa Z. Mr. Zaretsky, I'm sorry that I've corrupted your son into uh, riding motorcycles, but he's loving it. You and, know what? My dad And tried, doing really well. My dad tried riding motorcycles. Really? Did I tell you the story? No, you didn't tell me the story. Tell so, us that story. So my dad tried riding motorcycles. So his partner, um, it, my dad was a, uh, a law enforcement officer in the city of New York. He did two full careers in law enforcement. But when he was a, a law enforcement officer in the city of New York, one of his partners, um, who's Uncle Jeff to me, um, Tried to teach him how to ride a motorcycle, and my dad didn't know how to stop the bike, so he ditched the bike into a bunch of bushes <laughs> on the highway. <laughs> Just off the highway. He didn't want to go on the highway, so he's like, I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> so um, not a good experience for my dad. I think that was the last time we got on a bike. Right. But uh, Well, it's kind of tricky. For those that haven't ridden motorcycles, what did, how did you describe it? What was that bop twist? Remember Everyone has played with a twist it, bop it, squeeze it, pull it toy. Yeah. It's that little toy. You, know, you play party squeeze games it, with it, bop, bop it, it, twist it, you know, like pull squeeze it, it bop yeah, it, yeah, yeah, pull yeah, it. Yeah, 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 pull yeah, it a little bit too okay, much. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry. So Brad described riding a motorcycle as that, is like <laughs> squeeze it, bop it, push it, twi twist it, pull it, twist it, push it. Yeah, but using like, all four you've limbs. Got, you've got four limbs going, yeah. You do, except the stakes are a little bit higher. The stakes are a little bit higher. They are a bit higher. Yeah. But like you get you, the hang of it. If you pull it instead of switch it, uh huh. you go over the handlebars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Nah. That or you get Dave chasing you yelling, get your foot off the fucking brake. You get that too. Beep. Yep. The beep was a little late. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying this cigar. This smooths out in the second, third really nicely. And I still haven't ashed. I'd like to just get a look at that construction. You know what we need in our videos? What? Like a big ash sound. Like almost like a round of applause to a big ash cigar. Like a... Bye. Like a big ash reward, yeah. A big ash reward. How many big ash result, uh, like jokes can we'll we have to find. We have to find a sound effect for big ashes. <laughs> TikTok's got a lot of them. <laughs> body yaddy yaddy yaddy. <laughs> Oh, Did you just say that you like that's the first drop of TikTok you've had? I've just discovered TikTok. You were so against TikTok. I was so against TikTok. It's just it's the new vine. I don't know what it is. I think uh, we have such a short attention span as humans. You can sit there and scroll your life away on that thing. But I will say, there's a lot of funny people out there. Mm. Like, I know there's, I, there are, there's, there's one that I know. There is a lot of funny people out there. And <laughs> head to toe funny, and uh, and sounds it's, funny. it's quite entertaining to, to look at he what they're doing. Funny. He looks funny. 
just overall funny. I said your really funny video though. Yeah, Wh- which the, one? The guy you with the me level. Lo- the level. Oh guy. yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. So we're building this table, and he's yeah. telling me. Yeah. Right. So, Dave, would you describe yourself as a bit of a perfectionist? A little bit. All right. So just imagine this guy who's parroting like all construction stuff. And he gets this level and puts it up against a piece of wood. And he's saying, all right, well, this is how you level off a piece of wood. This is a level. But, but you how can't do, be sure you can't be sure, level. You can't be sure if it's level or what happens if your level is not level. Yeah, so you got to level your level. So he pulls out a level, the level is level. Yeah. So he's like, well, how do you know if that level is level? Yeah, so you got to level that level. He pulls another level out to level the level. <laughs> the exact <laughs> reason why the table took us nine days to build. It took us like three hours. <laughs> Dave, make, I, would, I would take a speed square. Which is like, you know, a 90 degree square that measures and does all the wonderful things. It's like speed, speedy, speedy square. And then he would take the measuring tape, level, and then and then you had granddads. I want to ask this now. Can no, don't do it. Just let it go. It's, it's half the cigar almost. Oh, whatever. But your, your, your dad's a bit of a woodworker. Dad's always been into woodwork. He makes some incredible stuff. So he gave you a lot of his tools when he came over. He, well, he got some of them. Most of his woodworking tools didn't come up. That okay. was the problem is I didn't have all the stuff that he, he used to have everything. You but know, you tools. had some antique instruments that not only did we have to measure with measuring tape, we had to use a speed square, but you had to go bust out some tools to measure the measure of the measure before I would be able to cut. You'd be like, hold on, hold on. But just slow down. You you measure, <clears throat> measure twice, cut once, but you measure eight times. No, that's it. See, I'm a tradie. I'm a I'm blue collar tradie. You are wearing a blue shirt. I'm wearing a blue shirt. Yeah. And it's got a blue collar. Measure twice, cut once, right? Bro, three, four, five, six times measuring. You got to make sure it's right. Oh. We were at arms. I thought we were going to, I thought I was going to get my ass kicked fighting you. <coughs> Brad was going to, uh, Brad was going to attack my fist with his face, weren't you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> totally been worth it. <laughs> But you know what? We got to th- throw a picture of the table in there because that table came out incredible. Well, it's a bit covered in stuff at the moment. It is. You know, we'll, we got we'll the wait. original photo. No, you know, we'll wait. We want to wait until it's finally sanded and finished. And... Yeah, you have to. We'll put a picture in another video in the future. Yeah, so you have to hang on for more to come from the table. Yeah, yeah. Well, how are you going there, Brad? This hasn't this hasn't dropped yet, and I kind of don't want to close the video out until that ash stops. Don't yeah. knock it off. It, it, don't knock it. Don't knock it. You, you, yeah, you thought way. about it. <laughs> I can't. That's it, but that speaks to the beautiful construction of the cigar. Yeah, and look, that burn that I was talking about, it's still a little uneven. It's not much, and I haven't touched it up at all. Um, but really good cigar, really good construction. We haven't talked about the flavors. I'm getting a lot of cocoa going on now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, down. We're, we're well into half the cigar now. Um and like I said, it's smooth right out. It's 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 not that uh, boldness that we got it light up in the first third. It's cleared out really nicely, smoothed down, and yeah, I think cocoa coming through. Yeah, mm-hmm. cocoa would be a, a good good taste. The oakiness, the dryness has kind of died down. We got a little earthy in there as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. I think overall, this is a good nightcap cigar. This is this is the cigar you smoke and not have anything else. I would like to try this with a really nice uh, red wine or port. Ooh, port. We haven't busted out a port wine. Yeah, I think a port would go really nicely with this. You know what I almost stopped and bought on the the way to, uh, we're calling this the witch's lair? This is the witch's lair, yeah. Yes, the witch is sitting over there. Standing. Yeah. She's got the, the two cats surrounding her. Very witchly. Yeah, broomstick in the corner. I didn't go there. <laughs> Pocus, pocus. <laughs> I, I honestly, um, almost stopped and got a dark chocolate stout beer. Hmm. I felt that that would go good with this. Yeah, I don't know. Now, no, I don't think beer would be the one to go. Maybe a really stouty beer, like mm. you say. I'm not saying like a like yeah, a a really nice, stouty, like beer. almost syrupy. Yeah. Stout. Yep. Yep. Yeah, really, I, I, it really, would be desserty almost. Really heavy stout would mm-hmm. go nice. I, I, I mean, you. This could overpower light drinks. Mm-hmm. 
um, and they wouldn't pair well. When you it's, pick, almost, it's almost when you're pairing this. Well, when you, I was just about to say, when you pair your cigar and your drink, you want to sort of complement the flavours. If they're too far apart, they just they don't work. Mm-hmm. Like Almost like we're too far apart. <laughs> you want to get cosier than we are right now? <laughs> no, we are rubbing, <laughs> rubbing knees right now. Mm. Now, last video. We got a lot of really good comments in the last video. And one in particular, D-Dub, I think it was, said uh, he loves kicking back, having a cigar with us while we're having a cigar and just enjoying the banter. Yeah. And if you don't like that, too bad, because that's what we're going to keep doing. Is <laughs> we can't do the short videos. You talk the, too the, much. The whole idea is you sit back, you have a cigar. It might not be the same cigar. We're trying a new cigar for you. You kick back, you enjoy, you relax, you have a chat. We are going to start doing a podcast. Um, you can listen to us, jaw on and chat. Or just YouTube. Most of the YouTube videos that I watch, I just let them roll in the background. Yeah. And, and, and just listen along with us. Have a cigar and, and just enjoy. And uh, again, you know, start the video, watch it, enjoy it. But oh, we, there it goes. Oh, that was a lot. Don't worry. The shark will get it. <laughs> My knee got most of it. Oh, yeah. You're definitely. Uh, that, yeah. was, that was a. That well, was... hang on. But that's like half the cigar before that dropped. And so great construction. And I'm waving my hands around. I'm sure if I nursed it really carefully, I could have got it down to the label, probably. But uh, th- that's really good. Yep. That's like half a cigar. I can relax with it now. You've probably seen me sort of holding it. Generally, I can relax with it now. You, you were holding it. It was... Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave that one there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, leave that one alone. All right. Well, my ash has dropped. Which means that we're binding down. The cigar... There's only got a little left, but I think what we might do is pause here and come back at the end and see if it changes at all. Do you think so? I don't know if it's going to change a lot, but I still think we got to give it a chance. Yeah, I think so. So we'll be right back. Go have a little bio break. Beep. Catch you in a minute. All right, we're back. And uh, we're still going on this uh, beautiful... Te- technically, we didn't go anywhere. Well, technically, we didn't go anywhere. Yeah. And really, we didn't give them time to go and do their bio break either. But you do have a pause well, button. Depends on the bio break. Well, they've got a pause button. Well, they could take us with us. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? Don't take us with you. Take you. Take us with you. We know we don't. We, no, do it. No, no, we no, don't. Why not? No, we don't want you to take us with. Like you, you don't watch YouTube in the in the crapper. Shh. Literally shh. As you're watching. <laughs> It hasn't changed much. If no. anything, it's getting a little bit more smoother, a little bit hotter, though. You didn't say what ring gauge this is. It's about a 56? 54. 54. Yep, yep, yep. 54 ring gauge. That's nice. You're not going to break the math down like you did with Shaboops? No. Okay. That was a noob video. This is not a noob cigar. There's a boob video. Everybody likes a boob. Nobody <laughs> likes a noob. I'm not sure how to take that when you're talking about my daughter in a video. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't a problem during the video. <laughs> I had a sexual innuendos. I was sweating and it was like 20 degrees outside. I digress. If you need to, check our last video out with Shaboops. Actually, on that video, there was another comment about uh, yes, cigars yeah. in humidors with sweets and whether the sweet cigars in will... Infused cigars. Infused cigars. Acids and mm, sorry, cough. The Django. So, yeah, we were doing the Django, right? So, check out the Django video. But in there, there was a comment from somebody asking, can they keep their, their uh, infused cigars in the same humidor as their non-infused and whether they'll marry flavors? And it's not only infused cigars. A lot of people say you can't keep Cuban cigars in with other cigars either. Yeah. Look, um, I'm going to go out there on a limb and, it'll, and say it depends on how big your humidor is. Yeah. Because cigars, are, like you say, because you're a good chef, you talk about the mushrooms. Yeah, that was the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Okay, okay well, I'll try not to do that again. Yeah, don't. Um, very, very but you, you talk about how mushrooms take on flavor of other things. Yep. And so they're like mushrooms. Yep. I think eggplant and that do the yep. same thing, right? So they take on flavors of what you cook them with. Yep. So cigars are a lot like that. They'll take on flavors of the things they're surrounded by. That's how you can 
Uh, you know, I've talked about infusing those cigars, the bad cigars that I had with coffee beans. We're going to do that. We'll do that on a video. But um, if you've got, like, I've got a, you might have seen my humidor in the background in one of our uh, other videos. I've got a six foot by four foot humidor and it's quite large. It's about the same size as you. Yeah. And you know, um, quite large. And my wife's cigars, and my wife smokes all the sweets. Just as wide as it is tall. She has two shelves, and I have two shelves. You're I'm like, just going to ignore him and keep going. You look like you're going to punch me. <laughs> Same look I got when we were building the table. But continue. Yeah, ow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you've got a large humidor, then... You can do that. It's not going to, and, it, and depending on how long you leave them there too. But if you've got a, a like a 25 cigar count humidor yep. or even a 50 and you've got both in there and they're touching, they're definitely going to transfer flavor yeah. from one to the other. So if you're running on a, on a small humidor, like a, the little lift up lid desktop humidors, and you want to keep, I'm just going to say sweets of any kind, like the, the infused cigars. Mm -hmm and non-infused cigars to get put them in two separate yep humidors um i mean even a like a do you have tupperware like do tupperware yeah tupper door a, a tupper door. door you can do a tupper door or you can get one of those acrylic uh desktop humidors yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like 12 bucks 13 bucks on amazon they do really well uh and you can keep them in there separate and that'll keep everything nice and safe but if you've got a large humidor then it's not uh not so bad. If you're if you're using your large humidor to age cigars, then don't do it. No, yeah. Because if they're in there a long time, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna. No. They're gonna. The, the flavors will marry. Marry. Have they'll, kids. They'll taint. The, they'll taint the cigars you're trying to age. There'll be kids you don't want. They'll be. <laughs> Not gonna come in on that. All right. Well. With that pearl of wisdom, hmm? with that pearl of wisdom, that was a good one. The pearl of wisdom, yeah, right, yeah. I think we should call it quits. Yeah, all so, good things must come to an end. But we're going to keep going with this cigar and this bourbon. Yeah. Make a comment. Tell us what kind of cigars you want us to try. Maybe you've looked at some, and you've thought about them, but you haven't been willing to fork out the. 10 or $15 to try that particular cigar. Put it in the comments. Ask us, can you try this one? Because we'll try it for you. We're happy to try a cigar. I've established very clearly, you will literally smoke anything. Almost. Literally anything. Almost. Anything. You gotta try anything once, right? That's all from me. And that's all for me. Catch you later. Remember, like, subscribe, and leave some comments. We you, love the interaction. We you always about... do that after the catch you later. Whatever. Now we're going to do the no, whole catch you later no, again. No, no, hold on. But, <laughs> and remember, follow us on Traveling Brothers Cigars on our Instagram. And Traveling Brothers Cigars, Traveling Bros. Traveling yeah. Bros Cigars on Instagram, on Instagram, and, Instagram and, and, and Facebook. Yeah, no, just join us in and yeah, leave com a comment. Yeah, comment to us on there too, if that's easy. Um, and tell us what you want to try. Take a photo of something in... If you're in your local lounge and you want to try something, take a photo of it, send it to us, we'll try it. We'll, we'll put it on a video and give it a try. And if nothing else, Dave has probably already smoked it. Probably. Probably. You got a problem. Yes. It's a good problem It's a good problem to have. Yeah, yeah. And then you want to do this. Catch you later. Catch you later.